Alright, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Worst Seven Gamer and I'm back with another Hero Awakening video guys. So check it out today. We are about to awaken Mazir, the Cosmic Guardian. And this guy is actually one of my newer favorite heroes because I love this guy. I love his abilities. I think he's awesome. And uh, I've already gotten his item enchanted all the way up. Alright, his abilities. Let's check him out. All maxed out. So let's go ahead to part number two of his awakening. Alright guys, so part number two, we gotta do the Bloody Arena six times. It's kind of weird, but... Uh, I guess it does force you to have to uh, be able to do it twice either way, right? So let's go ahead and we can just sweep 10 times, which will complete the quest 6 out of 6 and that's all we need, alright? So let's go ahead, accept this will quickly here and go on to part number 3 and let's see what we gotta do for part number 3 here. What the? It's always the same. He or any of his teammates cannot be killed in this fight. This is... Oh... Must I use? Alright, must purchase stamina. Let's go ahead. Mazir. Uh, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead. I'm gonna use my newest other awakening Ooh, hero, boy. which was uh Morphir. Let's use him. Let's go with Celeste. Oh, let's go with Kazar here. Uh, you guys can also take a look at Kazar in this video here. And Mog. Let's see what these guys can do. So let's let me see. Did I mix physical with magic here? When my awakening is complete, my powers will be even greater. Yes! That's what I'm waiting for, buddy. Come on! And I am repping my boy Mazir all the way, guys. Repping blue for his old skin complexion. You know, he's all blue like an atomic beam. Uh, anyways, look at time and space. Bend to my will. Yes, I love bending. <laughs> oh, I'm immune to magic. That's terrible here. Boy, this guy is phenomenal, guys. I love him so much. Boom! Kazar, look at him. I love Kazar flying in the air like he just don't care. It starts off as a statue and then he just floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. Their powers are useless against my powers. Okay, sounds pretty good to me, buddy. Boom! And Kapuya. Wow, one shot kill everybody. Check out the flames. Alright, boys, we're all set and I'm pretty sure he had all... Yep, oh my god. All of the power. Oh, here we go, guys. If you're excited, drop a like because this guy's going to look sick. Let's complete this and let's see the transformation. Go. What? God damn it. Whoa, look at that, dude. This guy just disappears into the mist. This is a pretty sick hero, man. Wow. All right, so yeah, he takes off his hood and just turns into dust. Pretty sick avatar if you ask me. Let's take a look at the card though. That's where it's at. Ooh, wow. That is freaking awesome. Damn. Wow. Oh, uh, he looks vicious. Only got four fingers. <laughs> Damn. That's a pretty sick card right there. Mazir, you are the man. So let's break down his ability, guys. Let's take a look at his final ability and see what it's all about. Because it's a long ass one here, so from the time Mazir enters the battlefield, he will continuously drain intelligence of all enemies facing him. When their intelligence is drained to zero, they will enter a uh, deranged state. In this state, their AoE attacker, attacks or healing spells will affect both enemies and allies, although the effects on the unintended target will be lessened depending on the ability level. Alright, the effect on the unintended targets will also be reduced if Mazir has less than 7 stars. So, 10% per star minus. Alright guys, so once he reduces their uh, their intelligence to 0, they're gonna go crazy. And they're going, all their AoE attacks will hit their allies as well as your opponents, right? That's all that means. And if they are a healer, they're gonna heal both sides, not just their side. So, that's pretty freaking sick, dude. So, uh, let's go ahead, let's max this out a little bit more here. As much as we can do. And what does it say here? Unintended targets receive 72 healing or damage when Mazur has 7 stars. Alright, so at 6 stars, it's going to be seven, uh, 62. At 5 stars, which is mine right now, it's going to be 52 at this point. Once he's at uh, 40, it'll be a little bit different. But for now, we'll leave it at that, guys. So let's go ahead to the next part of our boy Mazur. Alright, so next thing's next is the Forge. Let's auto Forge. 50 times and give him a little bit of boost on his uh, awakening item there. So let's go ahead, start Mazir. And um, now let's break it down a little bit, real quick, guys, because talking about magic heroes in the arena right now, 
they're not panning out too well. You got a bunch of physical heroes that will crush them so easily, and usually for mages, for magic heroes, their defenses are a little lackluster, so they don't have the highest defense. So they're really easily killed. Uh, Mazur is very intriguing though. I love this guy's ability. If he can get his ultimate off, it's nasty. But the problem is his energy is very slow to, to gain. That's his only concern. So um, let's go into a battle and see what this guy can do. Alright guys, so here we are in a, in a battle here with our boy Mazur. So I put him in the back there. Let's see what's going to happen. Opponent's got Ezio, he's got Octo, uh, that's troublesome. I put I put Tanya in there so she can kind of take some attention away. Uh, you really don't want your, your opponent to get to, to Mazier. Alright, so far we're looking good. Ezio hit uh, Volan there. So here's what I was talking about before. It's a little bit hard for Mazier to get his ultimate off. Probably everybody else will get an ultimate before he even gets one. You see, the, the battle was won without him even ultimating, which is... Not cool, and uh, didn't do that much damage, so that's the only concern. But other than that, this guy's a beast, man. And uh, don't forget, he lowers your opponent's intelligence as the battle goes on. Hmm, interesting. Alright guys, so final opinion about the Awakening of Mazir here. And it's pretty much like I broke it down before. Uh, this guy is an awesome hero. His abilities are really, really sick. They're really nice. The problem now is... Very vulnerable to physical attacks, uh, Volko, Tanya, boy, um, even Rayman disrupts them there a lot, uh, Nightshade, a lot of heroes are able to kill him really quickly, and his energy is regaining very, very slowly, it's not fast enough for him to actually use it in a battle so he can, uh, you know, actually suck everybody in and do some damage, so you're gonna have to do some uh, team planning, some really, really sick team planning to get this guy to survive. Or hide them a little bit in your uh, epic arena teams. But anyways, I'm going to end it for now, guys. I hope you enjoy Mazur Awakening here. Uh, he's pretty sick. I can't wait to play around a little bit more with him in our streams. And uh, that'll, about, you know, that'll be it for now. I'll catch you guys next time on another Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Peace out.